This video is fast forward to conserve your time. Please feel free to pause the video as many times as needed. There will be a screenshot of the completed code at the end. Also, please stay tuned until the end of the video because there are some coding mistakes that are correct at the end. Thank you and enjoy. This is the exercise that will be used to help you comprehend the decimal format and number format Java tools that you are trying to use. First and foremost, always remember to import the Java tools that you need to use. For this exercise, we will be importing scanner, number format, and decimal format. Always remember to declare your variables. For this instance, I use double to declare them. And remember, your variables don't have to be named the exact same thing as my variables. But for this exercise, it would probably help if you did name them the same thing. Just a quick fix to the code under Aubrey's Connecticut, change the NYAW to CNAW. Just a reminder, any mistake you see in the code will be and is fixed at the end of the video. I do recommend making space between your code so that way, in case there's any mistakes in your code, it's easier to identify and to correct.
out.format, the percent number s just indicates the amount of space between each integer or each word. My spacing is only like this because of the amount of characters per word. For your code, depending on your words, it could be any amount of space that you'd like. For the third system dot out dot format, change total votes ah to total votes ma and per total votes ah to per total votes ma. Again, I would like to reiterate any mistakes you see in my code will be and is corrected at the end of the video. Now that the code is finished, it can be compiled and ran in order to see if the code will work. Right now I'm running the program and inputting random number values into the input boxes just to test the outcome of the final product. I have got my output data and am now going back to fix my code. My code has been fixed, the proper values have been inputted into the program, and I have gotten the correct output. Here is a final still of my code.